We having fun yet? Good. Um, for those of you who made comments about my voice here, I have a spasticity in my voice. Unfortunately, I can't do much about it. If you listen to Robert Kennedy Jr., it's the same sounding voice that he has. It's a spasticity thing. There's no cure. There's treatment. The treatment, unfortunately, is type is uh, injecting my vocal cords with Botox, which I'm kind of against. So I gargle and stuff like that to try to help my vocal cords. But sometimes my voice sounds raspy. In fact, it always sounds raspy, but it's worse sometimes. So just bear with me. I'll make this as simple as possible. So let's take this file and save as. Again, good habit to get into. Constantly save the updates to your site. Again, I don't want to see this trace image. So I go to view and I take trace image and I don't want to show it make a change, save a change. So our goal right now is to put these div tags into our own div container. Now, everything's inside the branding tag on this top line. So technically, we don't need to see branding as a name. So we're going to take branding, double click, and we're going to delete it. We don't need to see branding. The same thing with main content. I'm going to take main content and delete it. Now, very important step here. I did not delete the branding tag, div tag, and I did not delete the main content div tag. I just deleted its contents, what it contains, which was branding and main content text. So how do I create the rest of these tags? Okay, so let's refer back to our mock-up here. Okay, so if I look at my mock-up for a second, I can see that logo is going to go up here. Okay, now logos can contain an image. That's fine. The image is going to flow to the left. That's fine too. This content can flow to the right or be aligned to the right. We'll take this one step at a time. I just want you to understand some basic content, concepts here. So this is not going to float. This is not going to float. This is not going to float. But once we get down here to main content, this tag will float and this tag will float and this tag will float. Order, a very important step here, guys. In order for something to go to the right of something, it needs to flow to the left. If you want something to go to the left of something, then it needs to flow to the right. Objects that flow to the left, its content go to the right. So therefore, elements is actually the correct term. So if I have an image tag, a paragraph tag, a div tag, I can float any HTML element to the left. By floating it to the left, its content, its other content goes to its right. It's that type of thinking. Okay, so let's create these div tags. I'm going to double click logo, copy, okay, come up here to insert div tag, and paste. Copy, paste. Now, simple as that. Double click site nav, copy, come up here, insert, paste. Okay. Double click site tag line. Double click copy. Now, why am I double clicking? Well, double clicking beats the hell out of clicking and dragging because you get more or less of the type. When you double click a word that's one single word, you get the entire word. So I'm going to click here. Now, again, pay attention to the fact what does this say right here? This says wrap around selection. That's what I'm going to do. You don't have to concern yourself with this other stuff right now. It's simple, simple, simple. If you have something selected, Dreamweaver assumes you want to wrap around selection. That's a good assumption. That's what you want to do. Copy, paste. Okay. Always pay attention to your options, your choices inside of your dialog box. These are my choices. I simply want to wrap around selection. Okay. So this information here goes inside of the main content. How do I know that? Because it says it right here that's inside of the main content. So I simply double click, copy, I come up here, and I paste. Now, pay close attention to this. At this particular time, the what's new, our mission, our services, is going to flow to the left. So let's look at our comp for a second, okay? Let's go down to our comp and this div tag here, what's new, this div tag here, our mission, 
this div tag here, our services, flow to the left. By floating to the left, the content will go to its right. By floating to the left, the content will go to its right. It's that type of thinking. Now, if you recall, in our previous video, we set up class tags. We set up class tags. Double click. This class tag called left float, strangely enough, call me stupid, floats to the left. Simple, simple. This class tag, call me stupid, floats to the right. So how can we apply that to the div tag as, as we create it? Again, we select the div tag, copy, come up here to insert, see insert div tag, paste. But before we hit the OK button, in this particular case, based on these choices, these are my choices. I have a class tag called let float. How, how cool is this? I could do the whole thing on the fly here. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Based on these choices, I'm going to assign one of these classes. This is class float because a class tag begins a period. Classes are defined and classes are assigned. I'm assigning it to a tag. In this particular case, I'm assigning the class tag called left float to what's new. What's new? Left float. Who's on first? Yes. No. Who's on second? No. What's the guy's name on second? Yes. Third base. Emma Costello. I love it. Okay. So let's double click. Let's double click our mission. Copy. Come up here. And paste. That's the name of the tag. This way there's no typos, guys. The advantage of having a computer is I type it in one time. This is going back 30, 40 years. If you have something you can copy, you can paste. It's the oldest trick in the book. Use a computer to your benefit. Let the software work for you instead of the software working you. My proven time, tech, time saving techniques works in all programs, every program I teach. Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects, Maya, 3D Max, every program, if it's made for a Mac, I teach it and I know the shortcuts. It's the same, same thing. Okay, so let's float this to the left. Okay, let's double click our services. Now these words are separated by what? They're separated by space bars. So I copy, I come up here, and I paste, and float to the left. Okay, now let's think about this. Let's look at our design comp again. Okay, so this is floating to the left, float to the left, float to the left, float to the left. Let's move this off the page for a second. Let's scroll down. Okay, so this is going to float to the left, and this is going to float to the left. Okay, now, how can we get this to appear down here? Okay, how can we get this to appear? Because this is going to appear after this. Now, to make it flexible and to make it simplified here, it might make total sense to put this in a separate div tag. We could put this in a separate div tag and call it, uh, let's call it some makes sense to you. We're not going to do it that way. I'm going to share with you both, both techniques here. So let's go back here and we're going to create a div tag for follow us. So copy, come up here, and paste. Now in this particular case, I'm not going to choose to float this, and I'll explain why in a second. Client quotes, double click copy, come up here to insert div tag, and paste. Okay, so now we have the function, now we have the function of our div tags. So let's very simply examine some things here, okay? Site, site tagline is inside the branding tag. How do I know that? Because here's the path to it, okay? Site logo is inside the branding tag. How do I know that? Because here's the selector path to it. This tag is inside this tag, okay? This tag is inside of the main content tag, okay? All these tags from here to here are inside of main content. So our next video, we will create the CSS rules to define these tags. We simply created the tags, and we're going to create rules, rules for the tags. We're also going to finish building the rest of the rules for the site, for the body tag, the H1 tag, 
image tag, etc., etc., etc. So stay tuned, like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.